Then we have uh, our second title. Yeah. And that game is uh, it's called Spell Rogue. It is a deck building game where you throw dice. Throw dice. <laughs> uh, uh, so uh, instead of me sitting and trying to come up with a pitch for it, let's just uh, see uh, a trailer for it, a teaser for it. Welcome to Guidelight Games. So we have uh, Tim and uh, and Torbjorn here with us, the two developers of uh, of Spell Rogue. Uh, introduce yourself, Tim and Torbjorn. Yes. Sure. Hi guys. Uh, my name is Tim Skafte, and I'm the 3D artist working on Spell Rogue. Uh, I mostly spend my time working on the graphics, uh, but I also help out with the design and do a bit of world building, like giving spells and enemies some cool names, stuff like that. Yeah, and I'm a uh, Torbjorn. I'm the programmer on Spellrock. Uh, I mostly do uh, technical game design, um, so that means I'm sitting with uh, all the notes and the uh, spreadsheet, uh, trying to invent new mechanics, uh, balance the game, and just try to make it as fun as possible. Cool. Welcome to the stream. Yes. Hey, Blood. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Really good to have you here. Uh, it was um, it was a bit random that we met, right? Because uh, you, um, you 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 engaged with our sound designer uh, Trolls, uh, who's yeah. done all the sound for uh, for Deep Rock Galactic, and he's also okay. doing a bit of music. And and, uh, and 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 he was doing some music for you, right? Exactly. We asked him to uh, to to just like make a make a single single uh, track for us. We really yeah. wanted some, uh, a bit better music uh, into in the game. And, uh, yeah. And then uh, and then. Then Trolls told me about you, and I was like, "Yeah, uh, that sounds in interesting." Uh, and you asked to 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 just have a chat because you wanted to uh, how how to release a game and uh, what, what what should this this become. At that point, uh, I think when we met, we we had no idea that we would go into publishing. Uh, so I think I told you that, uh, uh, yeah, it's going to be a hard journey. <laughs> <laughs> that you are. Uh, and uh, I, I totally played like we're not going to be part of it. <laughs> I think you got that yeah, message. We did not expect anything either. So no, we no. Were just, yeah, happy uh, to no, so home. basically, I think what happened was that you guys visited the office and you gave Cern some keys. And then uh, I got a key and Cern had a key. And yeah, we so went down the Steam, key yeah. Steam keys. And, and, and uh, when we came back the following Monday, we had each song 25 hours into a spell yeah. rock. So we were just like instantly in love with the game. This game is fun. Yeah. yeah. Core and, mechanic is uh, just solid. And obviously, I mean, we are into playing deck builders and yeah, roguelikes so, like, uh, like Slate Aspire. And all those. I, I think I've played um, all of those on Steam that yeah. are there. Yeah. There are many good ones. So, so it's not like, uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, so we felt the right at at home in the game, and uh, so. But anyways, the game. Talking about the game. I mean, let's uh, let's. Sure, see, what sure. what is what is the game? Can you uh, pitch it to us? So Spell Rogue is a deck building roguelike where you play as a wizard, but instead of using mana to cast your spells, you roll dice, uh, and you are fighting what we call the Void Walkers, um, who are raining down meteors from the sky and corrupting the world. So as the dice slinger, you must travel across the world, invent powerful strategies, experiment with spells and artifacts, and finally defeat the Void Walkers to save the world. So that's like and, the basic pitch. Yes. And, and where did you get this idea with combining dice into deck builders? Um, we always have had a love for, for strategy games, and we love board games as well. So it felt very natural for us to, to use dice as the main mechanic. And we also love... Uh, Games like Slay the Spire, all that, all that stuff. So we ended up just mixing those influences and uh, putting our own spin on it. But here in the in the background, can you see what is going on in the background? Because here we have a video feed running where we can see a, a fight going on. And uh, I think maybe Torbjorn, can you talk a little bit about how you use the dices and what you can do with the sure, dices? Sure, of course. It might the stream might be a bit delayed, so I'm not completely sure. I think you're finding the gin right now. Uh, but yeah, so the goal is uh, each turn you're rolling a set of dice, uh, and it's simply d6. Uh, there's nothing more advanced about the, the dice. 
Um, but but the whole idea is that you are you are still manipulating these dice. You are rerolling the dice. You are flipping the dice. You are merging dice, copying the dice. You are doing all kind of things with them, and then you are using them uh, in the different spells that each has some very specific requirements. So you can see there's some that it has that needs uh, odd dice, even dice, only takes one to fours, and so on. Uh, so it's all about uh, building that combination of your spells uh, and the artifacts and potions. That's a bunch of other mechanics as well, a bunch of other systems. Uh, so it's all about building that combination and the uh, and just yeah making making the strongest combination where you you can play around that uh, the randomness uh, that is. Uh, and I think actually I think that is one of the, that is really really smart. I think what you the way you use the dice, the way you can manipulate them, the way you can uh, put them into a spell, and then sometimes the dice will come out with minus two. So if you put a three and you get a one out, and so on. So you you have this randomness of the spells being rolled, mm. but then you also can take control over it through the spells in the deck that you're building. I I really really think that is uh, really cool, and I haven't actually seen anything exactly like this. Uh, uh, so I think that's really cool and a lot of fun. Yeah, it's very intuitive because, you, as you say, you're using the standard six-sided dice, right? That everybody knows. So, so you don't have to explain a lot around that. Uh, so that that just works, right? So, mm. how far are you with the uh, with the game, and wh wh where do you want to take it? So we are quite far along. Um still have a, a bit of work to do, of course. Uh, we have, still have some some placeholder stuff to to improve and replace. Um, but, but in general, it's it's all about uh, polishing and, and packaging the game. Uh, so it's as awesome and exciting as possible. And uh, we are heading towards an, an early access launch. Uh, we are not quite ready to announce the exact date, mm. uh, but we're having a, we're planning on having a close beta soon as well. So people can follow Spellrock on Steam and you'll be the first to hear when the beta sign up. So and we are looking at 23, right? So, I mean, yes. uh, yeah, it could, could go into 24, could, but, but we'll see. Uh, it depends on how, how re reception will be on uh, on the, the demos and uh, how much polish we need before it's uh, before yeah. we feel this ready or you feel this ready. Uh, so the game is uh, already has a, a Steam Store page. Uh, so, so, of course, uh, you can go in and, uh, wish and you thing. should go in and uh, wishlist if you are uh, as me. Uh, uh, you like uh, card games like this, and then, uh, then go in and wishlist this, and uh, and follow it uh, for all the the updates and uh, involvement that um, uh, that guide light games will uh, will take you on. Um, any uh, anything else on? No, I just think just uh... to, to to emphasis, we we are putting out a, a demo. We're planning to put out a demo mm. soon, and we're starting a sort of beta test. So uh, so again, please follow yes. uh, our theme, and uh, you'll be able to. Uh, to yes. uh, develop the, the game along with us. Yeah. yeah. Cool. But uh, I think that was it. And I'm just going to say All thank right. you, uh, Tim and Torbjorn, for joining the stream. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. We are looking forward looking to see forward more. Looking forward to, uh, to, to, play, to play it even more yeah. <laughs> as well. Great to do yes. Also look forward to have everybody play it. Definitely. Thank All you. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.